Hello guys, this is Herman from Visaya. What can you do if you have an additional temperature transmitter laying around your office? Well, we can hack it and measure some temperature. <laughs> what else? You will need first a temperature transmitter, an old voltage adapter and a temperature sensor. In this case, we have a Type K thermocouple we bought on Amazon. Okay, let's open this thing up. Take the back lid. Here, you have the connection terminal of the temperature transmitter. Here, you connect to your power or your power loop. And here is where you connect your sensors. If you need to know how to connect your sensors, just check the technical instructions from the manufacturer. All the information you need is there. I apologize to any electrical technician or how I treat cables, but I'm not the best at cabling. These connectors actually, you want to know, are gold plated at the most, the highest quality you can get because of their conductivity properties. So after you have connected your power loop, now you have to check, connect your sensor. What I have here is a type K thermocouple. Thermocouples have a positive and negative connection. This one is not the best quality thermocouple, but still you can check on the manuals, the color code of a thermocouple. This one is a type K thermocouple. I will connect it now to the transmitter. This is the positive side of the thermocouple. And according to the manual, it should be connected to the number one, to the number two terminal. This is not the best quality thermocouple, but you know, I just want to make it work. Let's see if it works. Before you power up anything, cover it, cover it up. And now we should be ready to measure some temperature. It seems it's working, it's starting. Oh, okay. So we have an error, error 0050. Uh, so welcome back. After some thinking and some video editing, we discovered the problem that we had. I actually didn't know the configuration of this transmitter. Fortunately, the manufacturer, Andres Hauser, has this QR code that thanks to an app they offer, we can discover which kind of configuration this transmitter has. Let's see how it works. So the app is called Operations. You can do something really cool with your camera or your phone. You can scan the QR code on the sensor. Tech. And he tells you exactly the configuration and the problem was here. If I go and see the other code, you can see that the setup, the factory setup, was for a three-wire PT100. Thanks to the magic of video editing, now we have a thermal resistance. So let's connect it. Tick, 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 tick. So this thermal resistance, I bought on Amazon. I have to be completely honest. It's the worst thing I have ever bought in Amazon. But I hope it does the job of measuring temperature. Let's get going. We connect the cables. So I'm looking at the connection diagram in the computer that you cannot see, but you can download the manuals online. Okay, by the way, I have no idea the color code of this RTD. If you know this color coding, please let me know in the comments below. But yeah, let's just try it out. Um, really, this is the worst RTD I have ever seen in my life. Never buy this for your process. Never. Buy good RTDs. Made from MI cable. But they are calibrated. They have been tested at zero degrees. They do as well some bubble testing in the tip so that there will be no contamination on your process. There are some cool resistors that we stand as well vibrations. There as well some ones that have quick Response time, I think this will be like a century time response. Anyway, let's power it up. So, so, yes, it's a miracle. So here you go, and we're measuring temperature. Man, I cannot believe we are at 29 degrees now. I think it works. 